BuzzEdit is a stitch file editor with basic digitizing. This means that you can manipulate a design at the stitch level, one or many stitches at a time. You will get a glimpse of what is possible in the following video. There are many ways to edit a design, but many feel that it is best to develop a plan by watching the design stitch out multiple times. The Sew Simulator in BuzzEdit allows you to do this. Adjust the speed to what works best for you. The obvious areas of editing we will cover are combining color breaks, inserting stitches, and changing a long stitch to a jump stitch so that the machine does not add extra needle downs. We observe that we can combine color breaks by looking at the color bar and see that some areas have the same color outline and fill and it would make sense to stitch them out together. We are going to insert traveling stitches between two filled areas to make the design stitch more efficiently. To quickly zoom in and see an example of this, select the yellow on the color bar and click on the plus sign in Stitches in Space. Some jumps are necessary while others just add time to the stitching at the machine. Select the minus sign to zoom back out. Finally, we will deal with the long stitches that need to be set as jump stitches. A jump stitch will not be visible in the reference pane and is displayed as a dashed line in stitches in space. We will zoom in on these stitches in time by selecting the color and clicking on the plus sign for the stitches in time graphs. This way we can easily select and change the stitches. Click on the minus signs to zoom back out. While we are working in the grass, we will fix this flower to have a green stem and rose-colored outline. We will make sure these stitches are placed at the proper place in time. Now that we have developed our plan using the Sew Simulator, we are ready to begin the editing process. Combining color breaks in BuzzEdit can be done in two different ways. Click on the Sort Colors button at the top menu bar for the fastest procedure. This is best for when combining designs like using copy and paste or for fancy monograms that have multiple colors that will repeat in each letter. For more precise control when combining colors, you would use the color bar. Double click to select a color and drag it along the color bar until you get to the location you want and drop it. Repeat this process with the red and black colors. You have just reduced the number of thread changes in this design from 13 to 10. This number will be seen at the bottom status bar in the Buzz Edit window. The key point to remember when combining colors in BuzzEdit is to use the color bar for selecting, dragging, and dropping. Be sure to save your work under a new name so that your original file is intact. You have just seen how to combine colors in BuzzEdit by selecting, dragging, and dropping along the color bar. Changing jump stitches to traveling stitches creates more efficient designs. For example, if you are going to stitch the design more than once, you will save time because you won't have to trim all the jumps at the end of the stitching. If you have a machine that does trim, your machine does not have to slow down to lock, trim, move to the new location, and lock again. It will continue stitching at its high speed for a longer period of time. You can see the jump stitches in a design by looking at the spikes in the stitch length graph. We moved the blue outline to stitch after the fill, but they did not end and begin at the same location in space. Zoom in to see the stitches more closely. When you place your mouse cursor in time between two jumps and double click, you select only those stitches. The square indicates the first stitch of the selection and the triangle indicates the last stitch. For the fill, they begin and end in the same spot at the bottom. The outline begins and ends at the top. We will delete the jump and two locking stitches and insert stitches that travel along the outline from the bottom of the cloud to the top. Hit the escape key on your keyboard to unselect the stitches. 
position your mouse cursor right before the jump and single click. Hold the shift key on your keyboard and hit the right arrow key three times, one for the jump and two for the locking stitches. Hit the delete key on your keyboard. Your mouse cursor is back at the bottom and the dashed line is now solid. Choose the insert stitch tool. Your cursor is now just like the needle on the embroidery machine. Each time you click, a stitch is added right where you clicked. Click and travel along the outline of the cloud. Remember that this will be like stitching the actual outline, so just follow the line. Notice as you click, the stitch is moving with you. You do not need to end at the exact spot, there is a stitch there already. Choose the lasso tool when you are done and zoom back out in both space and time. Click outside the hoop and notice that the spike is gone from the cloud. Select the yellow and zoom in on it in both space and time. The first section is the flower center and you will have a jump there. The second section is the top B stripe ending at the bottom. The third section is the bottom stripe also starting and ending at the bottom. Just like before, click one time before the spike in the stitch length graph. On the keyboard, hold down the shift key and hit the right arrow key to select the jump and two locking stitches and delete. Choose the insert stitch tool. We know that the black has not stitched, so you can insert stitches to travel right underneath this section, as well as the yellow bottom section which has also not stitched. Select the lasso, zoom back out, and click outside the hoop to see that the second spike is now gone. Be sure to save your work. I have gone through each of the colors and removed the extra jump stitches, which has decreased my stitch time by 6 minutes. If you were stitching this design on 10 hats, you would have just saved yourself an hour. The long stitches in the grass are solid in stitches in space and are visible in the actual size preview. Your machine may either not trim these stitches or it may try to stitch them and add needle downs along the way because it cannot create a usable stitch this long. We will change the long stitches to jumps. Zoom in on the green in space and time. Position your mouse cursor before the first jump and single click. Press the shift key and right arrow key on the keyboard one time to select just the long thread. At the stitch type pull down menu, select jump and the thread will become dashed. Repeat this same procedure for the rest of the spikes. Single click before the jump, shift right arrow one time, and select jump from the pull down menu. Zoom back out and your actual size preview will show the changes that you just made. We will now select the stitches in the stem and change them to green. Use the Stitches in Space reference window to zoom in on the flower. Use the Lasso tool to select just the stem and change just these selected stitches to green. Look at the color bar and notice that we have added a color break. Move the green selection to the rest of the green in the color bar. We see the long stitch in Stitches in Space and know that we need to select it and change it to a jump stitch just as we did before. To further customize the design, we can change the light pink to a deep rose and move it to stitch 
after the flower fell. By moving the outline in time, we have again created a jump as we did in the cloud. Remember to zoom in and to remove the jump and two locking stitches using the shift and right arrow keys on your keyboard. We have briefly touched on a few of the many stitch editing functions in BuzzEdit. You may use these to creatively alter your designs or make them stitch more efficiently to save you time.